up, YouTube family? Gerald Greenlee coming to you from South Georgia. Cleaning Green Lawn Service. Getting ready to go out and uh, bust out a couple of properties this afternoon. I may actually only record on one and do that video um, for a video to put up tonight if I put one up tonight. But anyway, if it ain't if it ain't Monday when this gets put up, then I didn't put it up tonight. Um, but I got two properties, which is a total of about nine acres. Um, and the first one's 2.25. The other one's like six and a half. It's a full cut this time. So I, I'll probably just break that up into two videos, honestly. But uh, anyway, try to shoot you a little bit of footage from this one over here. Uh, just really checking in with y'all, trying to put something up. Going to put the... Uh, x1 to work today kind of get down here this is a bi-weekly property see how it's uh, grown uh, this is one where drain fields in the backyard and it has some nice thick uh, grass around it but the rest of it last time was really really thin um, so but you know i'll have plenty of pine cones to pick up i'm sure it's been been two weeks since i uh like i said since i've been over here and the, the pine cones uh well this is one of the pine cone cities so Anyway, I'll check back with y'all when I get to the property. All right, we are here. Cracked lens on the GoPro and all. Um, just a quick uh, little overview. As I promised, there'd be no shortage of them. I'm looking at about six, seven of them right now. Eight, nine, ten, just laying around. This is not even a bad spot. The bad spot is out there under those trees. But uh, anyway, this is a little glance at the property right here. And this one right here is uh, it's roughly 2.25 acres. So this one usually takes me about an hour and a half. There's uh, usually, you know, 30, 35 minutes of trimming. A lot of trimming. They got some, you know, so... Anyway, when they get this old house over here tore down, that's right in front of me that they're tearing down, and they got that container out there. I mean, just got some stuff that I've been trimming around, which they tell me not to worry about it. You know, just cut close as I can, but I don't want to leave here with it looking, you know, looking bad. So I take that extra 10, 10 or 15 minutes or whatever and try to get it looking good. So I'm about to uh, snatch the 2620. That thing needs to be clean. 2620 off of here, and... Uh, Put this bad boy here's my gopro bracket on it you can see here to the end uh maybe i should have put it up even higher but uh and it may have still done it but that's where this crack in the screen come from running it on this bracket so anyway i'm gonna get some trimming done i'll try to get you some mowing action all right some of y'all probably thinking he always complains about pine cones and then i show y'all a picture of, of so i'm just gonna show you this is one tree this is one tree way out there in the yard one tree all the way around it okay I've already cleaned up around these and these weren't as bad as this one but uh, that just gives you an idea so this this trash can here which is probably uh, I don't know I ain't never looked to see what size it is I don't know if it has it on the bottom or not I don't see it, but I'm guessing somewhere around 25, 30 gallons. And sometimes I fill this thing up with limbs and pine cones. But, uh, anyway, I was just showing you a shot of that.
here I quoted a while back and uh, I did not get a call back from them but it sure looks like somebody has gotten out there and taken care of it I don't know if you could tell looking at that it has been cleaned up because it was bad but anyway it's not being kept up so when I quote a property when I go to a property and it's in bad shape and you can tell like at the beginning of the year you can tell it wasn't just that they cut up to October and then quit and now they need a good spring clean up and get started back over you can tell they stopped cutting last July I quote it high well I'm not saying high I quote it fair reasonable but there ain't no discount involved why well number one is you don't you don't do well I don't do a property assuming that I'm gonna get to cut it weekly or bi-weekly now if somebody you know basically there's a guarantee hey you know I want you to take over this property get it cleaned up for me and put it on the schedule and maybe this person just moved to this house or something like this or I know the people or you know if I could trust that I'd probably be a little bit easier on the cleanup but for somebody I don't know and somebody that uh, probably just isn't known for keeping their property looking good you know cut I'm gonna charge full price and the reason for that is this there are people uh, and listen if people want to do this that's fine it's none of my business how often you cut your lawn but there are people who wants you to come and cut their property every two, two and a half months. In other words, through the growing season, they just gonna pay for four cleanups. So let's say a yard is a $50 yard. And I go look at that yard and I say, okay, I'm gonna charge $200. It'd be at least $150. A $50 yard is going to be at least $150 on the cleanup. That's three cuts. Because basically you're going to have to do that in order to get it back looking good. If somebody wants a yard looking good, okay? Well, every two or three months they can pay me for a cleanup cheaper than they can pay me to do it five weeks. In their mind. Now, two months of summer grass, you know, I'm not probably not gonna do it for 150, but you understand what I'm saying. So anyway, that's enough rambling on. I just thought I'd share that with you. I don't know what y'all are doing. You can drop it down in the comments, but uh, I'm headed over here to the behemoth that I call it. Uh, I'm gonna do some recording there, but I'm not gonna put it with this video. I like to try to keep my videos, uh, you know, if I got a bunch of trimming and all that on, video it might be 15 minutes long but I, I just don't like doing long videos I don't like watching long videos the people that put out long videos I don't watch all of them you know uh, for the most part um, and it, it's nothing personal but you know sometimes I want to hear the conversation and you know if you put a if you put something on there what did I buy and then you try to drag me on through the video so I can see what you bought guess what I'm gonna do scroll to it okay you know, if I'm even interested in it, uh, and again, I, you know, I'm not trying to be ugly, and I know people do that in my videos too, even though they're short, because, you know, my average watch time is five minutes, my average video is ten minutes long or whatever. So, you know, you got you got people doing that. Um, so anyway, uh, but I like to try to keep them short. I know I do have some that are 15 or 20 minutes occasionally. That that's not the norm for me. I mean, if I, if I got something to talk about for that long, I'll do it. But if I don't, uh, if I keep talking, this one will be 20 minutes long. So, anyway, hey, I appreciate y'all uh, watching. Um, man, I've been really blessed over the last uh, month or so. Been getting a lot more views, uh, watch time. Uh, you know, and I, I'm not trying to make any money off of this. I, 
it don't really matter how much watch time I got, I got 150 something subscribers. But hey, I'm thankful for y'all, thankful for those of you that watch that don't subscribe. So, you know, anyway, uh, my prayer for you is always the same, that uh, the Lord might richly bless you and that you might see all of your blessings as from Him. Y'all have a great day.